I wanted to follow up on a previous video. Um, I mentioned why I like the QBO format uh, for a download. If you're going to be exporting a file from your bank and importing it into QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to show you why I prefer that over the CSV file format. What I have here on the screen is a CSV file. Now, this is exactly what I got from the credit card I downloaded it from. What you can see here in Excel, we have everything all in one column. Right, And so you got the date, the amount of the transaction, where the transaction took place, and the description. So QuickBooks does not like that. If I tried to upload this spreadsheet right here, it would reject it. It would say, does not follow the three-column format we prefer. There's actually a couple steps I want to show you. One of the things you can do, there is a time-saving tip to uh, get all of this data split up the way it should be, which is very simple. We just come here on this one column that we've got and go over to data and if you hit text to columns now you can actually see the preview here it's going to split out a column for the date for the amount and for the description here so once we apply that let me clean this up a little bit just to resize it to show you what it looks like now we have three we actually have four columns and we can we can actually get rid of this d column we do not need that uh, we really just want the date, amount, and description. Now, the other issue is we don't have column headers, which is okay. You can put them in if you want. QuickBooks will ask you if the first row has column headers in it. If your bank exports something and they do have the first row is date and then amount and description, if those are in there already, that's okay. You, there's just a box to check in QuickBooks to tell them, hey, don't try to import the first row because that's just the column header. Anyway, now that you've split the transactions, um, or excuse me, all the data out into columns, now you're ready to import it into QuickBooks. So I prefer QBO files because they do not require this kind of work to upload into QuickBooks.